New ideas require space, vision, and courage. The pioneering spirit and passion that drive San Lorenzo are embodied in 50 Steel, a new line of superyachts designed in perfect harmony with the group's driving values of sustainability and technology. 50 Steel introduces two innovations that will leave their mark on the history of the maritime sector. The HER system, a revolutionary on-board concept that makes it possible to obtain additional space by changing the traditional layout of the boat. The green methanol fuel cell system, developed by the yard in collaboration with Siemens Energy. The yard's patented HER, hidden engine room system expands the horizon by offering new ways to interpret space while keeping the yacht under 500 tons. At the heart of this pioneering innovation is the new layout of the engine room. From two occupied levels, there has been a horizontal development of the propulsion equipment and a new distribution of the technical space on the lower deck. Here an additional lounge has been created, with direct connection to the ocean lounge, on one side the large aft beach club with swimming pool and on the other side the guest area where the cabins are combined with a GYM area and a SBA area. 50 Steel will also be the first superyacht project in the world to feature the modular reformer fuel cell system, which can convert green methanol into hydrogen and then into electrical energy, without storing it on board, to power all the yacht's hotel equipment and eventually charge the batteries. A revolutionary solution that allows the vessel to generate up to 100 kilowatts of electricity with the propulsion engines and diesel generator off. Completely carbon neutral, the system significantly extends the time spent at anchor without consuming diesel fuel and completes around 90% of the typical lifespan of a superyacht with zero emissions. The exterior design of this innovative superyacht was done by Zukan International Project. The main challenge was to interpret a very complex yacht in terms of design, while maintaining the balance and simplicity of the lines. A study aimed at simplifying the features that give harmony and balance to the eye of the beholder. 50 Steel has been developed on four levels, creating ambiences with significant volumes and minimizing partitions and barriers. This new and disruptive interior architecture is not noticeable from the exterior profile, which maintains a clean and essential line in the perfect San Lorenzo style. Five steps up from the ocean lounge lead to the main deck and the heart of 50 Steel, a large and sophisticated lounge that is the guardian of life on board. Designed to allow light to filter in, the stairs pass through the yacht's interior, connecting the different areas from the gym and spa on the lower deck to the second lounge on the upper deck. In the middle is the dining room, which reaches an unprecedented size thanks to the layout possibilities on 50 steel. Clear heights range from 2.1 meters to 3.35 meters. The modification of the traditional spatial arrangement has made it possible to optimize every corner of the yacht. 50 steel houses four guest cabins and one owner's cabin, as well as two swimming pools at the stern of the beach club and on the sun deck. The connection between the spaces is also glorified outside. The three upper levels communicate via a series of stairs with a maximum height difference of one and a half meters, which does not affect the yacht's profile. In line with the principle of maximum habitability of the spaces that characterizes San Lorenzo yachts, the aft beach club, with its three outdoor terraces, becomes a 120 square meter beach at sea in mooring mode. The dialogue between the environments is also ensured thanks to the concept of Piero Lissoni, who designed the interior of the first unit. Reinventing the classic styles of the past in a contemporary way, the San Lorenzo artistic director has created spaces filled with a sophisticated air, given by elements such as latticed ceilings and dark wood-paneled walls. 50 Steel was designed entirely in 3D and that was really effective from a design perspective, it was like we were using something super parametric, Everything that came out of the engineering and architectural side echoed in reality without any unwanted surprises.